like that wild, crazy thing that I told you that once happened to me while I was in the grave of Rabbi Yudazev Lebovich a few years ago, and Rav Aaron Stern was over there, that he was the helper of Rabbi Yudazev Lebovich. It was late at night, and I was doing a long, long Yid Bodedut over there. And, and then I came, and Rabbi Yudazev, and Rabbi, and, and Rabbi Aaron Stern, asked me uh, if I can come in to the, to the tent of the grave of Rabbi Yudazev Leovich, and I went in. It was before of Sukkot, before of Sukkot that year, and uh, three years ago, I think. And, um, and then he asked me, do you want Mashiach to come? So I looked at him and I realized that I'm in a very important situation now in my life and that I'm not allowed to just answer a quick answer. I just really need to think before I'm answering. So I told him, only if none of the Jews will be left behind. Actually, I didn't say Jews. I said, the verse is not talking about Jews. It's talking about everyone. I said, only if no one will be left behind. That's what I answered to him. So he wasn't angry, but he was very upset. He didn't know what to do with my answer. It was like it's, I shocked him with my answer. And then there was another person over there that was also one of the helpers of Rabbi Yudazev Levovich. So Rav Aaron asked that person, that rabbi, do you want Mashiach to come? So he was a Talmid Chacham still is, and he said to Rav Aaron, the Rambam is telling that we always need to expect Mashiach, we need to wait for Mashiach to come, so the answer is yes, we do want Mashiach to come, and of course, yes, I want Mashiach to come. So Rav Aaron looked at me and told me, what do you have to say on that? I felt like I'm in court, I didn't know what to do. That In the end, after the fact, after two or three days, I realized that I was in court, I'm going to tell you why. And then he told me, Rav Aaron asked me again, he told me, what do you have to say on that? I told him, listen, we're not saying no, that we don't want Mashiach to come. We do want Mashiach to come, but only in terms of that everyone will complete their tshuva before. We don't want Mashiach to come and that thousands of souls will be rejected. We want Mashiach to come and that all of us will have the ability to to receive his face, to enjoy the truth, and then to be able to accept what, what that will come with Mashiach. Because when Mashiach is coming, it's judgment day. And we're not ready to be judged. We don't have the ability to be judged. We all feel guilty. We all know that we're not perfect. So we don't want to be judged. And for sure there are people that are very, very far. So if the truth will be revealed now completely, many, many souls will be left outside. And we don't want that. So Rav Aaron was uh, kind of lost with my answer. And after three days, he called me and he told me, listen, I want to tell you, please, I'm asking you, go to your rabbi and tell him that you, me, saved Am Israel from a horrible decree that was about to happen in Sukkot. And you saved many, many lives. So I told him I would love to tell him that, but... Can you share with me a little bit? What have I done? How, how did I do that wonderful thing? So he told me, when I asked you that question on the tune of Rabbi Yudazev Lebovich, on the grave of Rabbi Yudazev Lebovich, in heaven they had that discussion. And they were asking in heaven if to bring Mashiach in Sukkot or not. That was the question three years ago. And if you would say yes, so Mashiach would come in Sukkot and thousands of Jews would have killed, been killed. Because Mashiach would, could have come, but with judgments, with dinim. And by the fact that you said no and you gave the right answer, why not? You, you, you brought a good, you claimed, right? You gave a right explanation why it's not good that Mashiach will come now. By doing that, you gave more patience and more. You brought down more kindness to the world, and it's and, and thousands of Jews haven't been killed by that. So, how a person can can know how to choose in questions like those, in situations like those, you need.